How you doing today? Today we're going to figure arc lengths for vessels, pipe, tanks, and what that means is if we had to put this nozzle on this vessel here at 30 degrees off the top dead center, then we can apply a simple formula here, which is one degree sine. One degree sine in the calculator equals 0 0.017452. Now we're going to multiply it by the radius of 4 foot 3. And now we're going to multiply it by the degree of turn, which happens to be 30. When we're all done, it's going to tell us where that nozzle is in the linear dimension from top dead center to that nozzle. Okay, so let's try this. 1 degree sine times the radius. Now we could put that in with feet and inches with the Pipe Trades Pro. 4 foot, 3 inch. And now the last thing is we multiply it by the degree of turn times that by 30. You can see in our answer sheet we get 2 foot 2 and 11 sixteenths. That's from top dead center. Okay? Two foot two and eleven sixteenths. So let's try another one. Here we have a vessel. You can see the vessel happens to be twenty one feet. Okay? We want to lay out this piece of eight inch, which happens to be as you could tell, 30 degrees off top of that center. 30 degrees. Okay. So we're going to press convert clear, purge our calculator. We're going to put in one degree sign. We're going to multiply it by the tank diameter, which is 10 foot 6 inch. Then we're going to multiply it by 30, 30 degrees times the backspace times 30, and you can see that nozzle <coughs> in a linear dimension on the outside of that circumference would be five foot six, five foot six. So with the Pipe Trades Pro. In a simple formula, one degree sine times radius times times the degree of turn. That is a good, quick, easy way to figure arc length. So I hope to, hope this helped you, and there'll be more of this to come soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.